Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, we're going to do another really quick video and show off another one of Sean Field's beautiful helmet models, which is the Tank Trooper helmet. Um, again, if you saw my video where I showed the Shore Trooper helmets that I printed, this happened to be in the files with the Shore Trooper helmet, so thank you, Sean Fields, again, this is awesome. Um, but with this helmet, I printed this on the Prusa i3 Mark III. What you doing over there? I'm doing a video about the stuff I'm printing on the Prusa. I'm going to do another one about my first print. Oh, you don't have to. I already made a video about that earlier. What are you talking about? Yeah, I posted it just a little while ago. You look like a homeless man. What are you going to do with that beard? You're going to shave that, right? Uh, this? I'm not shaving this. I'm starting to get that salt and pepper look, and I think I like it. You're going to have to. Trust me, you're going to shave that beard. Uh-uh. I'm not going to do it. Keeping this forever. Uh, all right. Whatever. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so anyway, here's a look at the beautiful helmet that was done by Sean Fields. Um, this is all printed with the PLA filament that came with the Prusa minus uh, this front piece and one little section right there. If I get the light right, you can see where I changed filaments partway through. Um, and this is Salutech uh, Silver PLA. So it matches just about perfectly. It's all, it's really hard to tell, but like I said, right here you can see where I had to swap filament. Um, and overall came out really good. I printed this at 0.2 millimeter layer height for everything. So, um, considering it's pretty low resolution, I think it came out awesome. Uh, the only places I had any issues whatsoever is I got one line, and it's kind of even hard to see it, right here. I had one layer get offset, but the Prusa has a function where it's supposed to recognize if that happens and it corrects it, which it did. Everything above and below this line are all lined up perfectly. So, I purposely didn't sand this off or anything just so you guys could see it, but it, it recorrected, it did it once and then corrected and everything else is perfectly lined up. So when I go to do cleanup, that should be easy to fix. And the other issue was also a layer offset on the uh, Y axis, which is the, the bed that comes forward and backwards. And I think that one of my pulleys is over a little too far and it kind of lifted the belt on one of the moves and it made a little line right here. That's it. Everything else, I'm super, super happy with. Again, 0.2 millimeter layer height, which if you're familiar with 3D printing, is uh, not a very fine resolution. But it took a few days to print. Uh, the pieces were, uh, let's see, like some of them were like eight or nine hours a piece, and then over about a week, I, a little less than a week, I printed all the parts. Um, and yeah, the, the Prusa ran beautifully. I didn't have any errors. There's no weird layer separation. Came out really good. But I uh, figured I'd show that. Uh, the, I'm going to add this into the batch when I go to paint my Shore Trooper helmet. I will paint this one at the same time. And I'll try to make a video of uh, both those things. As far as this helmet goes, uh, it looked pretty good. There are a couple things where like these lines meet up right here. I think it looks a little more dramatic just because of the angle of the print lines in the actual seam, but this seam will be gone, and this seam here will be gone, and I think that'll uh, add to the accuracy. Now, I haven't compared this with the real ones yet, so I'm sure there's some stuff that's a little off, but uh, overall, I'm very happy. So anyway, I'm going to get back, and uh, I'm going to see what the hell he did with that video. I don't know. But we'll see. I'll be back soon, guys. Have a good night. And if you're wondering about the 3PO build, it's still going on. I'm ZBrushing the parts every chance I get. And as soon as I get around to printing those and having updates, I will do a video on that. So anyway, thanks again, guys. I will see you soon.